Hey team, Patrick here. If you struggle to get spin on your serve, specifically slice, then this is the lesson for you. I had a player during the week that wanted to learn this and it was so rewarding watching them hit these crazy slice serves for the first time that I just had to share this with you and make a video. So let's get into it. Firstly, let's look at how spin is created on any shot. And the phrase that is everything with this is the strings send it and the path bends it. So spin is created when there's a difference between the angle of the racket face and the path, the direction the racket is moving. This would be the same for a drop shot or a top spin forehand, or in this case, the slice serve. And the bigger the difference in the angle of the racket face and the path, then the more spin. I like to demonstrate this like this. If I tap this ball straight up, well, you can see there is relatively no spin, as you can see with this two-tone ball here. But if I keep my strings facing up, but swing across, well, now you can see the ball is spinning. I know we're talking about the slice serve, but if you're hitting a flat serve at the moment, then you're swinging in the same direction that your strings are facing. But to hit with spin, we need to swing in the direction we want the ball to spin or curve. So how does this relate to a slice serve? We want our strings angled in the direction we want the ball to go. So towards the target, I've got set up out here. As remember, the strings send, but we want to swing out to the right, roughly towards the right hand net post here, as the path bends. Unlike on a flat serve, where we're gonna be hitting through the ball, on a slice serve, we're gonna be hitting past the ball. So my strings are angled in this direction and I'm swinging, my arm is traveling out to the right in this direction. As you can see, if I demonstrate on the Top Spin Pro here, strings angled in this direction, path moving off in this direction. This will cause me to hit the side of the ball around two o'clock on an imaginary clock face and cause the ball to spin. Also, using the clock face analogy, as a right-hander, we can place the ball slightly more to the right, more towards two o'clock on this imaginary clock face as it makes it easier to swing to the right and hit the side of the ball. For a left-hander, this would be more towards 11 o'clock. And the quicker you swing, the more spin you can impart. So make sure that you keep your swing speed up. A much talked about topic is should we pronate on our slice serve? And the answer is yes. Pronation will occur on all serves, whether it's slice, flat, or top spin. It's also why it's essential we use a continental grip. So we can lead with the edge of our racket coming into the ball. And in this position, you wouldn't know if I was gonna hit a slice serve or a flat serve. But on the slice serve, this leading edge is still in front at contact. And the rest of the pronation will occur after contact as we relax our arm across our body. But on the flat serve, we've already pronated to the point where our strings are facing forwards directly at the ball at contact. So we shouldn't be trying to carve around the ball, like you might have been told, as this will limit our swing speed and is not actually what creates the spin. Remember, spin is just created with the difference between the angle of our strings and the path the direction that our racket is moving.
The slice serve will be most effective as a right-hander on the juice side and as a lefty on the ad side, as you can really take your opponent off the court. And I've made a video on this channel already about how you can use this strategy with what we call a serve plus one. And if you're practicing, the goal should be to get your ball to hit the side wall and not the back wall and see if you can really get it exiting through the side of the court. It's also why it's important to swing to the right is if I have my strings at this angle and I swing straight towards the box, then I'm going to miss wide. It can also be a great second serve for recreational players that have not yet developed a topspin serve, which is the most common second serve you'll see used by the pros. Right team, I see a lot of videos online from coaches around the slice serve, and it's clearly a shot that a lot of recreational players want to add to their game, which they should do. So I hope you've learned something new from this video, and if it has helped, please leave it a like and a comment down below, and please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on court in the next one. Cheers, guys.